Who is Edwin Aina? Edwin Aina. Hmm. Who are you? <laughs> Edwin Aina is an illustrator. He's a Kenyan illustrator. He's literally found his language through his art. Through strokes. Edwin Aina is an amazing Kenyan-based illustrator who has found his language through his art and like it's been the most amazing thing to watch grow. He's an illustrator who everyone should know. Like I feel like everyone should know him and his art just speaks to him. Like you'll see something and you'll be like, is that Ed? And you'll be like, that's Ed, that's Ed. Without, like it's gotten to that point where we know his signature, we know his style and that's an amazing thing to find, a voice to find as an artist. So that's Ed. And he's my friend. This one I'm going to keep until we're like 30. <laughs> you said what? Is that, ah, yeah. Miss Kusema, yeah. Kusema, lies. Okay. I was under duress. Um, what inspired me to get into art? Yes. Is, uh, <laughs> I hope you guys heard she just shouted capitalism. capitalism. It was uh, my passion. I was just a young boy watching TV. I'm watching cartoons. Every cartoon I used to see, you know, uh, Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, making the world a better place. One cartoon at a time. Or, Club Kiboko, so many cartoons I used to watch as children. I used to now put them down on paper from my memory. My mom inspired me. She used to give me so many books to just fill them with what I've seen from the TV. So from there she said, oh, this boy can really draw. She kept on pushing me, pushing me uh, to continue drawing. started now uh, telling myself, oh Ed, you're going to become the next Picasso. Ooh. So I started <laughs> or the next Van Gogh. Ooh. <laughs> and I, <"Ooh." laughs> I just continued. Um, uh, looking at what other people are doing who are older than me actually because their skill was more like th people at that like me. E e at that time uh, when I'm young I'm, I was looking up to people like Banksy you know big over 18 people in that time I'm below 18 and I'm just telling myself wow how did they get there yeah it's like a kid sees a plane flying and they're like how did that plane go from the ground to the air so that was my interest how did he start from just one brush stroke then, as I continued my journey, I went from uh, traditional art, that's now putting, let's say, graphite or charcoal or car um, pencil colors Little to on things. paper, I'm to like, now whoa. digital form. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, the yes, magic. Yes, yes. from going from, from traditional <laughs> to digital, analog to digital, let me just say that. So like one, uh, 2H pencil. Yes, hey, I was always that guy <laughs> going in. You remember those Oxford sets? Yeah. They're always full of pencils and everything. They had a 4B pencil that I used to, to, what's it called? Mascara. No, <laughs> ah, wait, wait. I went to now into the digital world and I started now getting better practice. You know, practice, practice makes Every perfect. Ah, another thing that inspired me was when you were young, you remember those t-shirts? Uh, was it Dada Damani School of Hard Knocks? Yeah, I remember And it was them. such a brand and, and FUBU. FUBU! If you didn't have a Snoop Dogg t-shirt, they don't talk to And a Snoop Dogg t-shirt that is reaching here. Ah. <laughs> so, so. Just, I'll show you. Those things inspired me. It yeah. was such a simple logo. Like you'd see that guy with big ass double baggy yeah, lips and the and the thing is covering his eyes and it's just you'd know that's that's um, that whole brand label Akina Calif Records or mm. I think uh, it was Calif or uh, Ogopa. Ogopa. So yeah. I think that inspired me to be like, what can I create now? Since now I'm in the digital world, what can I create? Like a symbol, you'll be like, that's an ed piece. So uh, <laughs> so I decided to become a entrepreneur by just now finding the right place, the right, uh, where, where, is, where can I find the best place that make really good quality t-shirts and uh, something that will not fade in like, <laughs> <laughs> like three months. <laughs> yeah. To continue the story, as now as I'm looking for where I can print the best quality t-shirts, I went looking everywhere and mostly to Lianza Wapi, River Road. Obviously, yeah, <laughs> those, guys, those guys have everything. You know, River Road, Unendoko, Unapata 2, cheap is expensive. And yeah. and uh, with selling to your customers, uh, you want to give them the best thing so that they can Value, come back. Yeah. You just don't want to give them just because now they're going to pay you. Yeah, especially now with social media, you know, just two, four, five tweets and now people will be like, ah, let's not associate, and associate ourselves with yeah, Ed. he doesn't have good quality So, stuff. by God's grace, I found Creator T. One of the staff members there is called uh, Cyrus. Mm -hmm. We became really 
close friends. And one of the best things I would tell someone in the business world is that if you form a really good French, um, that business family relationship, uh, you can't go wrong. Even if yeah. you go wrong, you guys know how to pick yourselves up. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did three designs, and uh, Cyrus was uh, he was very he was shook. He was like, "This is you," you know, because in that 2017 times, like digital artists weren't that big. Yeah. So he's like, oh my God, this is amazing. And just hearing that from him, and you know, he wants my money, but now yeah. he's seeing my art, he's like, he wants my art also. Yes, so he saved my, his, my work in his computer, and I was like, let me continue now giving him more designs. Yeah. So I put out the first two designs, which was this one and the lion. Mm. Um, yeah, well, I didn't bring it, but anyway, because people have stolen them. <laughs> They've stolen my t-shirts. Like, can, can I have this? Then they never, yeah. It's like stealing your hoodie. I found a creator tee and uh, I've never looked back. Not even one single customer has ever complained. About the t-shirt? Yeah. yeah. They're just complaining like, I need more. <laughs>